tell us how this is significant for Rwanda from a diplomatic point of view. Thank you very much, uh, Eugene, for, uh, for uh, inviting me. Uh, this is a great uh, day uh, for Rwanda. Uh, Luis Mushichiwa Rose, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of uh, Rwanda for the past nine years, uh, was uh, elected by acclamation, uh, meaning by consensus. Uh, Secretary General of the Francophonie, which is an organization of now 88 uh, member states mm -hmm. and, uh, and regions. And uh, it is important because um, uh, the Francophonie has uh, uh, many, 60% uh, yeah. actually, yeah. of French speaking uh, uh, people in, in the world are from Africa. Mm -hmm. And we know that uh, many, uh, the half of Africa, uh, uh, is uh, francophone, uh, especially in Western uh, Central Africa. So it's imp important for business, it's important uh, for culture, for, uh, for exchanges between Africans and the rest of the world. I think it's, 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 it's uh, an important day for Rwanda and for Africa. Right, important day for Rwanda and for Africa. But this comes at a time, uh, especially when, you know, uh, about nine years ago, or almost 11, uh, if not 10 years, Rwanda actually did switch from French as a language of instruction to English. And around that time, everybody was saying that French has gone to the windows. Would you confirm now? Because I've seen on social media today, most people are now so proud to tweet in French, even those who were not or not known to be French-speaking people. Yeah. Would you confirm to, to us that French is back? French uh, didn't go away. It didn't yeah. go any, any, anyway, uh -huh. anywhere. Uh, you, you said it yourself that um, Rwanda is a member of the Francophonie since its creation in 1970. We never left the Francophonie. Even uh, in '94, even uh, when we had uh, difficulties with uh, with uh, France, mm. we uh, fr uh, French as a language mm. is still an official language of, uh, in Rwanda. All laws are, are published yeah. in uh, in, uh, in French. It, it is still taught as a subject yeah. in schools. So fr French is still there. Of course, there is room for improvement uh, because we need French as, as a language. To uh, to uh, to be able to be competitive mm -hmm. as Rwandans mm -hmm. on the market, on the African market, but also on the international market. So it's important for uh, Rwandans to be multilingual, uh, uh, speaking French, speaking English, on top of our national language, Kinyarwanda. Right. So for those who are who are saying diplomatically that we seem now to be embracing Fran fr uh, French now, even handles that were never tweeting in French today were tweeting in French. Uh, what would you tell them? Those who are saying that this was just a strategic way of telling the French-speaking nations that really we never left you. I think they, con they should continue tweeting in French, uh -huh. not only today. Yeah. And uh, we, we know that um, Rwanda really is uh, uh, in a particular position, has good opportunity, a good opportunity of being, I would say, uh, bilingual uh, when it comes to foreign language, yeah. uh, the French and, 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 and English. M all African countries don't have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So we will, uh, we will uh, use that, we will uh, be uh, francophone and anglophone in, uh, on our continent. Yeah. And that will be beneficial uh, for uh, the economy of Rwanda and for Rwandans, the people of Rwanda. Right. One thing that was very interesting with uh, his, Her Excellency Mushikiwawa's candidature was that she did garner support from influential Francophonic countries, including France. Yes. And we all know the nature of the relations between Rwanda and France, especially if we roll back uh, the arms of time and go back to the, uh, you know, uh, bad, dark history of Rwanda as far as the 1994 genocide against the Tutsis is concerned. How do you think this support that President Macron gave to uh, Louis Mushiwabo uh, going to change the nature of how Rwanda now relates with France? Of course, uh, Francophonie is different uh, than uh, France. Mm -hmm. Our bilateral relationship will uh, going to be dealt with uh, bilaterally mm -hmm. without going through the Francophonie. But uh, of course, the decision of France uh, to support uh, the candidates of Louis Mushiwabo was uh, decisive because uh, France uh, is uh, the biggest contributor to Francophonie, and it, it's an influential uh, country uh, in, the, in this uh, organization. Uh, this, of course, uh, was uh, the result of, uh, of, uh, of uh, I would say, the change of uh, mindset in the uh, French government mm -hmm. uh, with the President Macron, uh, Emmanuel Macron, who came uh, with uh, new ambitions of uh, 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 engaging Rwanda and trying to solve our issues and yeah. improve, uh, improving our, our bilateral relations. So yeah. we are happy for that and then we hope 
that we continue on our path mm -hmm. of normal normalization with France in the years to come. In the years to come, but mm -hmm. what can you report today as far as this path of normalization of relations with France is concerned? We, we are on a good path. You know that when uh, President um, uh, Kagame was in, uh, in uh, France in May, uh, he had a uh, bilateral meeting with uh, President Macron. They discussed not only the Francophonie, but they discussed other areas of collaboration, mm -hmm. uh, including uh, peacekeeping. You know that uh, Fran uh, France is uh, an important country when it comes to peace. Uh, keeping in uh, Francophone Africa, yeah. uh, but also the, the way to, uh, to uh, improve, uh, I would say, our misunderstanding yeah. or, or regarding the role mm -hmm. of uh, French officials and military in the genocide perpetrated against the Tutsi. So uh, this um, issue will be uh, discussed between the two countries uh, to see that, uh, to, 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 to try to find uh, a long, uh, a long-term solution uh, to this situation, but with the political will mm. of uh, the French president, uh, we, uh, I believe that we will uh, make an improvement. Right. So, what next from now? I mean, talking diplomatically speaking, what can you tell us today for those who are watching us today after this announcement, after the victory of Louise Mushichiwa? What, what next do you think is going to happen now? For the victory of Louise Mushichiwa, she will uh, implement her. Uh, her program, you know, she had a program of, the, of in, uh, improving uh, uh, youth, uh, employment for the youth, uh, to, uh, to promote the Fr French language, to uh, sh share experience between um, uh, Francophone countries, and uh, also to, uh, to promote Francophonie as an organization. Right. Because the Francophonie, for the past years, was no more relevant mm. uh, in the international arena. But uh, for the, our bilateral relations, we will deal with that uh, separately, of course, bilaterally. Mm -hmm. We will uh, continue talking to each other, trying to find uh, a solution to, uh, to the um, uh, issues between uh, Rwanda and France. And you know that uh, uh, we uh, both head of state talked about, uh, 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 last time in Paris, they talked yeah. about uh, a commission um, of uh, historians uh, to, to discuss about the role of France uh, in, in the genocide. Right. So it will be important to explore that way and then see how we can uh, normalize our relations. Right. Thank you so much, Abbas. Mm -hmm.